What's the crack, lads? What's going on? Welcome back to some training guides. We're going to do a short and sweet training guide on each of these new players. If you want any of the players that are in this pack as well as a dedicated training guide, we usually show you two versions of it and talk about the player, why he's built, why he's built the way he's built in that system. So whether it's long ball counter, whether it's different possession style, whether it's a different play style, how to set him up in a formation. And then we also give you a GP alternative to the player usually as well. So if you want any of these training guides specifically done, let me know as well. Or will I just do one video for them all, which will be kind of longer, right? So we are going to start with Dennis Irwin. Finally, they've done him a little bit of justice in eFootball24. He did have a really solid card last season as well. Plus two to his pass. And I'm actually going to hide this two seconds. Um, because we are going to be going over to the build in a second, two different builds, but he does get plus two to passing, so there's with the booster, so straight off the rip, he's going to have 75 low pass, 82 lofted, and the all-important curl as well for crossing in, 83, they have nerf crossing, so I do think that Irwin, for him to become truly meta, it will it will need a kind of a gameplay update um, for the crossing to come back very strong. But I would love Irwin to be crossing him in to King Collar when he comes back into the four. I will say, lads, right, if you are using a defensive build of Irwin, I would say you definitely need blocker and probably low lofted pass as well to be able to kind of launch from the back with very accurate passes, right? If you are using him as a bombarding left back attacking based, one touch pass or double touch are musts, right? Yeah, you can add different skills to him, but I would say block for a defensive build of him and one touch pass for an offensive build of him are musts right so moving on to the actual build itself let me get this off the screen he does have unwavering form he does have a nice rating of 84 he only has uh, 34 levels which is quite decent i would have preferred maybe like 37 38 to truly stand him up with roberto carlos who goes to like what 101 overall or something like that carlos is crazy in the game um, but they are kind of similar players, except, you know, Irwin is more technical than Carlos. Carlos is more pace and power. Irwin is more kind of technique and uh, kind of like on the ball ability, right? With the dribbling and stuff like that straight off the rip, right? So we are going to go over here to the first build of him. We're actually going to do it. He is part of the English League Guardians. You can, you know, sign these for 100 coins or 900 coins will get you 10 spins. So the first build that we're actually going with here... And this is going to be your attacking build, right? So we're going to completely stay away from defending and aerial strength. we just putting everything into passing, dribbling, dexterity, and lower body. Now, I would play this version of Irwin in a 3-5-2, or else as, you know, a modified kind of 4-4-2, where you're going to forward with this Dennis Irwin, and you have, you know, Wambasaka or somebody very, very tight defensively, or Tommy Yashu, or somebody on the right-back position that's really masquerading as a right-back, but is a centre-back. So the likes of Timber, Koundé, Tommy Yashu, any of those guys that can play right-back, that will be our right back in the formation, but will obviously play with deep line or whatever you want to play and let Dennis Irwin kind of have that free Roman role right up and down the flank. You've got excellent ball control, dribbling and tight possession. You're going to be maxing out the lofted pass and low pass into the 90s. Speed and acceleration is very, very nice. Defensively, he's going to be okay, but you are going to be looking to get this this guy with crosses into the box. So I would definitely play with a 3-5-2 with a big tall target man in the box to be able to swing balls into, right? The, then we have the defensive build. So this is a secondary build that we have here. They're both 93 overall, 3 into passing, 14 into dexterity, 3 into lower body, and 13 into defending. So we've nothing boosted for his dribbling or his aerial strength, but we are going to be getting all his defensive stats apart from defensive awareness and his acceleration and balance all into the 90 zone, right? We're going to be getting a plus 4 with the stats to low pass and lofted pass, which is going to bring us over the 80 mark with the low pass is about 80, and then lofted pass is going to be 87. So we'll still be able to defend, we'll still be able to pass, we'll still be able to dribble with all the boost that we're going to be getting from the manager. And depending on what manager you're using, you will be able to get more, uh, you know, you'll be able to get a plus five boost in some cases um, to some of the stats. If you use, you know, the ball control, uh, such as Javi, or you use a low pass boost there as well. So, um, you know, you also have the tackling one with the new AC and Interpax um, and the physical contact. So there's a lot to, to like about this Dennis Irwin. I think that he's he's definitely going to be a player I would use with this build. This is, the, this is the best build. And as I said, I would be throwing on blocker on this build as well to, to make him truly unbelievable. Now, if you are staying free to play a road to glory, 
Definitely check out Daily Blind, lads. What an absolute beast. He is down as a defensive option within this same formation that we talked about with Dennis Irwin. And he has every player skill that you could possibly want. You don't have to put anything into this guy. He's got one touch pass. He's got low lofted. He's got man marking interception blocker and weighted pass as well as pinpoint crosser. And he does have long ball expert and early crosser as his play styles as well. He's very, very cheap. He's only 32,000 GP. And look what he actually trains up to here, right? So if you are comparing him with that defensive build of Dennis Irwin, he is an absolute monster, right? 39 levels. And look at the defensive stats, lads. 93 defensive awareness. Tackling is at the 86 mark. Acceleration is 70. 88 tight possession. 89 low pass. 88 lofted pass. To be honest, we can actually build him a little better because we don't need that possession to be as good because we're going to be not going up the pitch that high with him. We can actually turn him even more defensive. If we want to get that tackle into 88, we can turn him into a true left-back defensive juggernaut as well as having the passing well above 90s with the boost that we're going to be getting as well as having an extra little bit of speed and stamina there if we want to go like that as well. So let me know what you guys think. That is it for me. I'll be back. That is your two builds and a GP alternative. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Let me know what you think of these English League guardians. Until then, talk to you in a bit.